I think this is very easy to fall off. You know, I'm gonna do it all without stopping running once. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Fontaine trailer, and then and then see how Hoyoverse responded to the Genshin Impact drama situation. First and foremost, let's let's take a look at the drama, because it's, it's, that's what's most important. Before we go ahead and jump into this video, though, I want to take a moment to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon. Your guys' continued support allows for me to push out regular videos like this every single day, and I cannot thank you all enough. Also, if you have a moment, consider following me over on Twitch, where I stream most weekends. So for those of you that are unaware, and I urge you to go ahead and take a look at this video first, especially when that's the landing page for it, that facial expression right there. What happened was the voice actress for Paimon went and accused the studio behind the English voice acting for the game of not paying her for numerous months. This was further reinforced by other voice actors that have also worked on the English dub for Genshin Impact. Not Honkai Star Rail, not Zenless Zone Zero, none of the other studios. Each game has its own respective studio in charge of the English voice acting. This is not pertaining to the Japanese voice actors or studio. This is not pertaining to the Chinese voice actors or studio. This is specifically pertaining to the English voice acting and the English studio. The voice actor for Deluke came out and confirmed that this is happening. The voice actor for several NPCs in the game came out and confirmed that this was happening. The Recording studio in specific is called Formosa. They are in charge of exclusively the English dub for Genshin Impact alone. After being called out by numerous different voice actors, Genshin Impact started trending on Twitter. And I think at the time of recording that video, there were 53,000 tweets that were made. This forced Hoyo to respond to the allegations. And they did. Genshin Impact voice actors claim they haven't been paid for months. Hoyoverse has provided us with a statement regarding the missing payment. We truly regret to learn about the ongoing situation. So, as is evidenced by their opening statement, they didn't even know that this was going on, that they, they didn't even know that this was occurring. Genshin Impact values and respects the work and effort of everyone involved, and we support our voice actors to claim their proper due. We have made payments to our recording studio on time, and we immediately urged the studio to pay our voice actors from our past payment. Meanwhile, we're also seeking alternative solutions and we will keep you posted on further development. So, Hoyo noted, we did not know that this was going on. We didn't know our English voice actors were not being paid. We made payments to the recording studio on time. They, Hoyo themselves, made direct payments to Formosa, the studio. And Formosa chose to withhold payments for a number of their different voice actors. I don't know if it's all the voice actors. I don't know if it's just select voice actors, but the voice actor that brought this to the attention of people was the voice actors for Paimon. Literally Paimon, the one singular character with more voice lines than any other character in the game. She was not paid for months worth of recording for a game that has made billions of dollars. Paimon's voice actor said they haven't even been paid since December. They can't afford rent. It's gotten that bad. Really? Let's take a look at her Twitter and see. That is the facial expression she's probably been giving if she has not been paid since December. I would give that facial expression too. I have finally gotten word that things are being fixed. Thank you, everyone. Imagine not paying the person who talks the most. Yeah, for like seven whole months. This is something that should never have happened to begin with. I understand Hoyo we're out of touch with the situation because Hoyo is not directly in charge of paying the voice actors. They send the payment to Formosa Group. Formosa Group then pays the voice actors. That's how it works. Hoyo are pretty much disconnected from everything concerning the English release of the game, or at least the English dubbing 
of the game, which is why they have a studio in charge of this and why they send the money to that studio. At the same time, I'm also glad to see that things seem to have been worked out, but at the same time, they are also seeking alternative solutions. I don't know if that means they're going to fire whoever is in charge of Formosa. I don't know if that means whether they're going to seek out a new studio to dub the game, if they're going to have a more direct input on the dubbing process or not. Things escalated very rapidly. Thankfully, things seem to have resolved themselves they didn't confirm that they had been paid yet, just that I finally gotten word that things are being fixed. Thank you, everyone. Not that things have been fixed, but that things are being fixed, which means they will be fixed, which means they have not been fixed yet. So right now, it's all still just verbal. Nevertheless, this is something that should never happen, especially for arguably the largest video game in the entire world. I'd be looking for a new studio. They might be, exactly, yeah. How does this happen? I genuinely do not know. I don't know how you don't pay your voice actor for seven whole months. Your main voice actor. It's, it is absolutely fucking mind-blowing. But here's the Overture teaser. Take a look at that, and we'll jump back into Tower of Fantasy and try to make it across that weird little tree bridge thing again. And actually make it this time. My... Mission. The original sin is the fairest. Everyone sinks. Make the most of the final feast. Because for the sinners, the curtain call has come. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she did it! Wait, is that Albedo? Is that Albedo? This has been Linny and Lynette's magic show. No? Oh, they must be twins. <laughs> Wait, he looks just like Albedo, though. The essence of magic is getting people to believe a lie. And the most important part of this is what people see. People don't realize how much they expect their eyes to tell them the truth. <laughs> but what you see is not real. It's all a show. And every part of the show is carefully controlled. Is that Chi Chi? Or another character looks just yeah. like Chi Chi. By choosing the right time, the right place, and the right people. I feel like, the, like, I just, I, I gotta, I gotta say this. I gotta get this out of the way. I know I gotta upset some people, but some of these characters look like other characters, just with a slight variant in their uh, outfit. Whoever controls these three controls everything. But keep oh your eyes peeled, and you might be able to turn things to your advantage. But keep your eyes peeled, and you might be able to turn things to your advantage. <laughs> In a nutshell, magic is what you see with your own two eyes. Very fun. But it's not enough. Right, Wubsy? <laughs> Let me make something clear. You think of yourselves as magicians, but when you're on the stage, you're first and foremost actors. Good actors hone their craft to mesmerize the whole crowd. Holy shit! Dude, you know what she reminds me of? A really fucking hot, mature Eula. Holy crap. Like a hot, evil Eula. Boring. I mean, why do I even bother? 
Are we going to finally see a real twist for once? Please refrain from levity in the court. This trial is far from over. Night Sage. Eula's evil lost twin, right? Holy crap! Look at that trailer was sick. And, but you know what? Like when I'm sitting through this entire thing, you know what I'm thinking? How many of these people didn't get paid, and how many of them aren't gonna be paid for the next seven months? <laughs> Because remember, this hasn't been fixed yet. This is a gradual process, which means that none of those voice actors could have potentially been paid for their work. And none of them are probably going to say anything because it could mean no work in the future. That was a, that was a sick trailer. But then, like, let's be honest here. When are their trailers never not sick, right? Ugh. Like, I can't be the only one that's sitting here thinking it must suck right now to be a Genshin voice actor because everyone runs the risk of not being paid. I wonder how many more, because only three voice actors came forward about it, but I wonder how many other additional voice actors hadn't been paid. And beyond that, how many additional voice actors hadn't been paid for numerous months? Where did I end up? Where am I? Oh, cool, I found more balls. Okay, well, it doesn't matter where we ended up. We got the balls here. 